Welcome everybody to another Tinker Challenge. Now, today is really special because today's came from our Tinkerbot right here in the Tinker Factory. I'm gonna open it up here. It says, okay, it says to build a car. I was waiting for this sometime soon. You know, we had our boats and, and we had our bridges. Time for a car. All right, I can handle this, okay. Here's the thing. I have stuff to make things. I have all of these materials. I don't have enough stuff to make a car for me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I know exactly the person to go to for this sort of stuff. Hey, Sprocket, how you doing, buddy? Okay, so here's the deal. I'm going to make a car, but I can't fit into a car, so I'm going to make a car for you and you're gonna ride around in the car. Is that cool? Okay, all right, love you, bye-bye. All right, I can't wait to get started on my car, but I want to show you a little something else first. Come on. I'm up here in our Game On exhibit, and these are our Lego cars. Now, these cars aren't quite big enough for Sprocket, but we can definitely take some inspiration from them. In fact, we've got these wheels here, a large flat surface. I think all we really have to do is just make it a little bit bigger. Let's look to an expert, though. Oh. Hello there, me no see you there. Me Ugg, me caveman scientist. 5,000 year ago, Ugg invent wheel. You welcome. You may ask, hey Ugg, why wheel circle shape? Ugg tell you, circle shape perfect for wheel because circle evenly distribute weight. Push from top, roll from bottom evenly distribute all weight, all times. Ugg love circle. Circle love wheel. We love you. Ugg love you. Logic sound. Okay, well, that explains a lot. It explains why my square wheels didn't quite work out very well. I mean, okay. All right, so I just have to make these circles and we should be in business. Okay, so we've tried square wheels, which don't work very well. Let's try wheels made out of circles. Okay, much better. I see. Cavemen are actually pretty good at this. All right, forget that. So, I've got my circle wheels for my car. So, I actually, two wheels right there. Well, four wheels right there. And I've got my little kind of case, my, my box, my, my body for sprocket. So we're gonna hook this up just like this. I've got these little tiny clothespins and they're going to be able to hold those wheels in place, but still allow them plenty of room to spin on their own. In fact, let's test it out. Oh, that's lovely. Very, very nice. I'm just gonna clip them back over here, the same thing. Let's see how well it holds it up. Well, it holds up okay, all right. That's nice, that's a lot better than the squares. Okay, let's give it a shot. Dude, that was absolutely amazing. I know it went pretty fast and you know, don't worry, Sprocket, he may have looked a little scared, but he had a great time. In fact, he loved it so much, he took a break from being, you know, a tinker cat, went off, he's being an amateur race car driver right now. Check it out. You never know what our next challenge is gonna be. Want to see your own Tinker Challenge? Write in to us at bbeck at ocm.org. That's b b e c k at ocm.org. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to us so you don't miss another Tinker Challenge. Thanks. Hmm, nine letters, French philosopher. <laughs> Descartes. <laughs> Come on, New York Times crossword, give a hard one. <laughs>